All right, so check this out, y'all. First video message of 2024 is for the pulpit, for the teaching podium, for those who stand up and proclaim the word of God before a group of individuals on a consistent basis. I want us to approach the, 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 the pulpit thinking more highly of others than ourselves. We live in a time where we're no longer, because of cell phones, because of the internet, because of social media, we're no longer just preaching to the audience in the building. We're now preaching beyond the scope of the four walls that we actually minister in. And it's, it's extremely important to think more highly of others outside of the building, just as well as inside of the building than ourselves. What do I mean by this? Just because it's lawful does not mean that it edifies. Meaning that, now that that's an actual Bible verse, ladies and gentlemen. And I know he's talking about like the eating of meat that's sacrificed to idols that bears no um, burden upon a person's conscience and all this other stuff. But the reality is what I can do doesn't necessarily mean that I need to do it because it very well could be a stumbling block for other individuals. And what I've done is I've blocked the ability of the people to see Christ and see the gospel. All because I thought this would be a great idea and it sounded good on paper. It looked good on paper, but when presented, it distracted from the ultimate message. This is not about what's sinful, what's not sinful. This is not about what's permissible inside the service and what's not permissible inside the service. This is this is not about what's um what what should be and shouldn't be there. This is simply about us as 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 people who are representing God through speaking his word, analyzing and asking ourselves before I use this example, before I use this prop, before I even say this very thing as the example, is it going to be a distraction? Is it going to be a stumbling block? We have to approach the pulpit thinking more highly of our audience than ourselves. Just because you can step up to a podium and proclaim the word of God does not mean, does not mean it gives you permission to arrogantly think you can present the word of God any way you want to simply because there's no actual scripture that says what you're doing is quote unquote sinful. That is extremely arrogant and prideful and dangerous to approach the, the, the pulpit from that kind of mind frame of who gonna check me type of mind frame because it's not about who gonna check you in the scheme of your, your, your congregation. It's the fact that in God's timing, he will check it. In God's timing, he will check it. God is not slothful concerning his promises, right? When it comes to fulfilling out what he says and his promises aren't just about eternal life and his promises just aren't about, you know, that I'll provide all your needs through Christ Jesus. His promises is also that those who are wicked and done unrighteous will deal with his judgment. His promises go two ways. So it behooves us who stand in front of an audience proclaiming what we believe to be the word of God. It behooves us to approach it with the respect of, I don't want what I'm about to do or what I'm about to say or what I'm about to use as an example to try to get the point across to become the very thing that distracts from Christ and from them seeing the gospel. So with that being said, I wanna encourage anybody that stands before an audience proclaiming the word of God to not make it about them, to not make it about them, to, to, to not think that you are above reproach, to not think that you're you're not above being corrected, to, to not think that you're not above uh, being called out. Do with the respect that is due. Much love and respect. Y'all be safe out of man. This is your boy Sleep. Peace.